Welcome back to the cabin. I actually am just getting home from work in these clips. I still work. I am a nurse one night a week and that's good enough for me. I can stay home with my kids and they don't really know the difference. And today I was fortunate enough that my daughter made banana bread the night before so breakfast was ready to go when I got home. All I had to do was slice it up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I am a registered nurse. I lost my job about two years ago because of the COVID vaccine and it prompted us to move here into this little cabin. There are a lot of great things that have come out of that situation and one of them is that I am still able to be a nurse. I am doing private duty, like I said, one night a week and that is perfect for our family and I really enjoy the position I'm in. It's a lot less stress than I had prior in my old job and I'm basically just maintaining my nursing license so that if I ever want to go back I can um, and I guess also just making a little bit of cash on this side of my full-time homemaking and homesteading gig. Currently everyone in our family has a cold and I've been hanging around a lot of like oil ladies if you know what I mean and I'm trying out peppermint because I kind of dabbled with it a while ago and we were all thinking wow this would be great for a cold and it actually is it really does open up your nasal passages and can help you breathe a little bit better so we've been doing the peppermint in our big diffuser and I have also been doing uh, eucalyptus in a smaller little electric diffuser These sticks that are on the edge of our pond are actually little willow trees and I have collected a bunch of them already to try to make a pack basket. They're drying in my house but right now I'm kind of doing the ultimate test to make sure I have the correct type of willow and if you can wrap around your finger without anything breaking or spreading then you do have the correct willow which I do. It passed. Even though the smoke coming out of a chimney is like picture perfect aesthetics, it's really not appropriate. You don't really want to see any smoke coming out, ideally. You want that hot of a fire to prevent creosite. So I did have to go in and adjust the fire to get it hot again. Thanksgiving was just yesterday and we made a bunch of gluten-free things. And this is an apple crisp that I'm making again because we're visiting my parents tomorrow for our uh, second Thanksgiving. And I cook gluten-free and bake gluten-free because I have a child with celiac disease. So this is kind of new to me. Um, she was only diagnosed last year. So, I mean, I'm still learning a bunch of recipes and I am gonna adjust this recipe. I can share in the description box the exact recipe I did for this. And it, it is really yummy, really good. But I kind of just think that the crisp needs a little bit more moisture. So I will probably just have to go in and adjust that recipe to suit my preference. I love the days after Thanksgiving because I don't have to make anything really. This I'm, you know, making because we devoured our first apple crisp and I need to bring a dessert for our next Thanksgiving dinner. But I just love living on the high of not having to cook any meals for a couple of days. And it was just really nice having like a whole bunch of time to cook meals with all my little kids. And, you know, I had a lot of little hands, a lot of people picking at food. And it was just a great time. You know, my sourdough was on point. We had really awesome rolls. They came out so nice. And we just really enjoyed ourselves. Just a day off and 
we actually celebrated in our barn and it was quite cute my daughter and my husband went up to uh, set it up for us and it was really nice and it was kind of chilly but it was just perfect for us like this was just so us you know thanksgiving in the woods we are taking a couple of days off of homeschool we are just making sure that the kids are still you know using their brains and using their bodies so they're getting outside doing puzzles doing board games and because i don't really have to cook tonight just have to reheat you know leftovers that's exactly what we're going to do for the remainder of our evening and this is just perfect for us if we're not doing school i really still want to encourage them to use their minds thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content and i will see you in the next video Bear. Bear. <laughs> you have a bear. 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 You have a bear. Bear.